Hello, I'm Officer Lin. Before your child takes the test, we need your help. Please begin by setting the volume of your device to maximum. Put on your headphones and follow each step. Now tap on each bird when I say its color. Please start now. Blue. Blue. Black. Yellow. Blue. Thank you adults for your assistance. Now please place the headphones on your child and be sure not to adjust the volume of your device. Hi, I'm Officer Lin. When I'm not catching bad guys, I like bird watching. Now help me by tapping on each bird when I say its color. You can start now. Black. White. Black. Blue. Well done. In the story ahead, you will need to listen carefully. It's important that you only touch the screen when you're asked to select an object or when you hear the special sounds. Now remember, listen carefully. Have you ever met a bionic dog? This is Patch. <coughs> Patch has supersonic bionic ears which let her hear things that you and I can't hear. Patch has a best friend called Emily. Hello. Emily's the boss of the operation. I'm Ranger Dan. I'm a national park ranger, which means that I have to look after all of the plants and animals in the national park and protect anyone who comes to visit. Patch and Emily help me do my job and we have lots of adventures. But one day, Emily went missing. Time to get up and get ready, Patch. Emily should have been home hours ago, and I'm afraid she's got herself lost. We'd better go and look for her. Emily usually helps Patch get up and get ready, but she's not here. Can you help Patch get up by tapping on the blue mat? Now Patch needs her rescue backpack from the 401. Can you tap on the green backpack with the red potholes? There are five things that Patch needs to put in her backpack. Pack. Can you tap on them as I say their names? All done. Now she just needs one thing. Okay. Let's go. Emily has a walkie talkie, so she might try to contact us. We'd better make sure that Patch's bionic ears are working so that we can pick up the signal. Listening out for birds will be a good test of her hearing. Can you help Patch listen out for carry on birds? Anytime you hear a bird call like this, 
tap on the big red button. Start listening now. That's great. Let's try that a few more times. Okay, and just a few more to be sure. Made it. I need a break. And look where we are. We've arrived at Ron's canteen. Maybe he's seen Emily. Say hello to our friend Ron. Hello there. Ron, Emily's gone missing. Have you seen her? Not since yesterday, my friend, when she passed this way on her bicycle. Well, we'd better keep looking, but I think we should pick up some supplies while we're here. I'm going to read out our shopping list. Can you tap on each type of food or drink so that Ron knows what to give us? There you go! Coming right up! Your wish is my command! The next thing we need is red strawberry jam. Next thing we need is orange carrot. The next thing we need is a cheap sandwich. And that's the lot. That comes to ten dollars. The canteen only accepts cash, so tap on the coins to pay for our Thanks, Ron. Now we'd better keep looking for Emily. Thanks for shopping at Ron's. Good luck in your search. <coughs> what are your ears picking up, Patch? It's Emily. I'm locked up. Honey. Wilderness. Oh no. That was Emily. And she says she's been locked up. I think we're going to need your help to find her. You're doing a great job. Remember to listen carefully and only tap the screen when you hear the special sounds. Now we have another problem. The road has been damaged by heavy rain and we're going to have to jump the gaps. Luckily, Big Red can fly above us and warn us of the holes ahead. When you hear Big Red's bird call, which sounds like this, help us jump by tapping on the red button. Start listening now. Okay, keep listening, there are more coming. We're halfway there. Keep going.
We've made it to the base of Adventure Mountain. Emily must be somewhere around here. I can hear something scratching around in there. Surely that isn't Emily locked in that box. Emily, is that you? We'd better get it open to find out. Even if it's not Emily, it's illegal for anyone to lock up animals in the National Park. I'm going to start turning. I need you to listen for a high-pitched clicking sound like this. Then tap the lock when you hear it. Yes, that's the way. Keep going. Almost there. I can feel it. We did it. Now to find out what poor creature is locked up in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, well you're not Emily, but aren't you a beauty? I've never seen anything like you before. I think you better stay with us for now while we look for Emily. But how on earth are we going to find her? Hello, can you hear me? Emily, just in time. We're at the base of Adventure Mountain. Can you tell us how to find you? Can you help us find Emily by tapping on the things that she remembers seeing? The first thing she saw were blue flowers on a bush. Looks like she went up that way. Keep listening. The next thing she saw was a koala in a tree. The next thing she saw was a koala in a tree. The next thing she saw was an egg-shaped rock. The next thing she saw was a yellow bird with long tails The next thing she saw was a tree called White Leaves. The next thing she saw was a pile of brown flowers. The next thing she saw was a big black and white snake. The last thing she saw was a hole in the wall shaped like a circle. Aha! Looks like we've discovered where the kidnapper took Emily. A hidden cave. Can you hear that? It sounds like a distress call. If we follow the call, it may lead us to Emily. You made it, and you brought the baby Vanya back to its mother. We couldn't have done it without some help. But I'm confused. I thought you said you were locked up. No, I said the baby was locked up. I just came back to keep his mother company because she couldn't bear to be alone. Well, that explains that. But who would do such a thing to a defenseless baby animal? I think Patch has worked it out. Have you? Let's follow her and find out. Ron, why would you put that poor little critter in a cage? I'm sorry, Ranger Dan. I thought I could sell it for lots of money. How long before Ron gets out of jail, officer? Oh, he'll just get a fine and a warning this time. But he'd better not do it again. Thanks, Patch, for all your hard work. And thank you for using your listening skills to help us find Emily and rescue the baby Bunyip. It's been quite a day. Good night. 
and goodbye to you. Thanks for playing. Please let your parent or carer know that you have finished.